Hey guys, welcome back to Vlogmas in this very flattering angle. Um, we are going to do a little Christmas crate digging here, and I'm also trying to pick up a receiver. So if we find a killer deal on that, we might. But uh, we're going to try Goodwill first. I also happen to have a coupon here for 50% off at Salvation Army, so we'll see. Anyway, come along with me, why don't you? All right, first thing, we're going to try and find a receiver. Hopefully we'll have some success. Eh, nothing so far. This is cool. This is like four bucks. I have to think about that. It's only a tape player, so. And just like a little cheapo boom box. It's totally a hit or miss proposition. You never know what you're gonna find. What the heck? Oh, it's like a portable DVD player. Little tripod. Cool stuff. But no receiver. Never know what you're gonna find though. Yeah, sometimes when you come here, there's thousands of records it seems, but today is not one of those days. So, it's pretty slim pickings. That's part of the fun. You never know if you're gonna find something or if you're not, so. I have found amazing things here. I found Glenn Miller here before, but I feel like today is not that day. So, like I said, we'll go check out, wait, what was that? Okay, we'll go check out um, the other thrift store as well. It's a bit of a drive, but it could be worth it if we find something. Just make sure there's nothing else around here. If it's hit or miss, today would be a miss. Okay, we're gonna give it a shot. We made it out to the Salvation Army store, and we're gonna go inside and see what we can find. What do we got here? DVD CD player, some alarm clocks. Let's get to Shiva DVD player. It's like one of those mini systems. Speakers down here we've got karaoke machine. Wow, look at that thing. What the heck? Remote controlled high fidelity stereo system. It's crazy. Okay, let's see what we got here. Very tiny little TV converter thing. I remember when that was a thing, switching to digital television and you had to have the converter. Oh, this is just a DVD player. Some external drives, computer speakers, iPod dock. What the heck? What is that thing? It looks like a blood pressure machine. Sequential circulator? I think that's like some medical crap. No thanks. Man, slim pickings today. I think I did see this though before. This is kind of cool. Oh wait, no, never mind. Wow, there is nothing, nothing here. All right, guys. All right, let's see. This is kind of interesting stuff. Got little seven-inch records. Even forty-five. Kind of cool. unique. <laughs> okay guys, so there's a dude standing right next to me. I just didn't feel comfortable talking into my phone at that point, so I'm just going to do it here. Um, just going through the different records here. Um, a typical collection of uh, very obscure Christian music and uh, a lot of Doc Severinsen, as you can see. It's been a while since we've come across... Oh, oh, IO Players, that's actually really cool. I almost got that one. Um, but it seems like you find certain records over and over and over in thrift stores, and uh, today was no different. A lot of Frankie Carlisle. Um, but yeah, interesting stuff here. I'm just kind of flipping through to see if I come across anything. You never know. I found Russian records here before that I've had on the show empty cases, you name it. A lot of junk, but sometimes you'll find, you know, something interesting. Always looking for that Glenn Miller, always looking for big band music in general. Um, so yeah, going through here, and Enoch Light and his orchestra, some bizarre stuff. The good thing about thrift stores is you don't find a lot of rock and roll. A lot of Moon, a lot of Al Hurt. Now this is cool. Some Artie Shaw, set that aside. Roger Williams is another very popular one you see a lot of. 
and I've reached the back of the of the pile here some backwards records it's really hard to do with one hand on the camera one hand on the record so my apologies if it looks a little sloppy um, but yeah just going through here and definitely a better selection than we had at the other place uh, this is really bizarre honor your partner records it looks like an exercise regiment or something very unique now this is a keeper frog and toad we're gonna have to take that for sure and this 1964 Poudre Valley High School, we can leave that, but kind of interesting. I love those record, those limited run, you know, local records. Uh, try to go through this one kind of at a weird angle here. Uh, sorry, a lot of Al Hurt. Al Hurt you see all the time, but sorry for the weird angle uh, as I try to do this with a guy standing next to me. David Rose and his orchestra. Have you ever heard of Red Skelton, the old radio show uh, personality? He... Uh, his orchestra leader was David Rose. Um, Henry Mancini, Les and Larry Elgar, Ray Conniff. You will, I guarantee, go to your local thrift store and you will find uh, Ray Conniff albums. It's a guaranteed thing. Percy Faith, very common as well. Nothing wrong with that if you like that. Um, I came across a bunch of uh, Broadway stuff today, which is kind of interesting. Always tempted to buy, this is kind of cool. This looks like a demo record of sorts. That was kind of cool. Mystery record and some uh, Spanish language stuff, which could be pretty interesting to find some, you know, unique, you know, foreign language stuff. Here's the Broadway stuff. Brigadoon, um, some really neat stuff. Camelot, Gypsy. And we've done a show on Broadway records before, so you never know what you're going to find. Pretty, pretty interesting. But this is the heart of, you know, what the show is all about, you guys. Record archaeology, just going out there and seeing what you can see, going out into the wild, looking for those artifacts, not just for the music, but for the historic nature of these old records, the stories they can tell, you know, both on the record, outside the record, the artwork, the whole thing, just enjoying the entire process start to finish. Yeah, kind of slim pickings today, but over here we've got some box sets. Again, you never know. Some of the Reader's Digest box sets are are really good to grab so and you're not going to be able to find a more affordable price so it's definitely worth looking at over here's kind of their boutique section where they have some higher end stuff some rare books and things of that nature nothing that you know really stood out there was this kenwood uh multi-disc chain okay guys so i did pretty good actually picked up this Artie shaw and his orchestra album usually I don't pick up non-Glenn Miller big band music, but I've been kind of into Artie Shaw lately, so I figured, hey, what the heck, pick this up. Now this record, as you can see, is there's a little bit of a rainbow sheen to it, but it's actually pretty well worn. But I paid like a buck for it, because I had like a 50% off coupon. So that was a good deal. I was really excited to find this. My wife and I really like frog and toad stories. And this one is like a, uh, uh, book on record kind of thing. It's from Scholastic. Um, it's even read by the author, so very excited about that. I also picked up um, a couple CDs. This is the uh, Three Tenors in Concert. Now, if you don't know, this is the best-selling classical album of all time. It's the 1990 um, concert of the first Three Tenors recording. In fact, they weren't even called the Three Tenors at that time. So that's why it just says Carreras, Domingo, and Pavarotti. All three of them amazing talents. All three of them sadly um, had personal issues. Uh, most recently, Placido Domingo that came to light. So this is a time to enjoy the art, not the artist necessarily. And then over here we've got a brand new uh, box set of the, the leading ladies of big bands. So this is really cool. Reader's Digest music releases are really, really good quality. So I'm excited for this. So um, haven't opened a brand new CD in a while, so that'll be kind of fun. Remember these like little, it's kind of the same thing they'd put like on a, a pack of cigarettes, isn't it? To help you like kind of unwrap the plastic. But anyway, not that I ever smoked, but I remember seeing those. Uh, that ought to be fun. So let's go ahead and listen to uh, maybe the Artie Shaw record and the Frog and Toad record for sure. Okay guys, so here we have the Artie Shaw record. I'm going to flip the switch and we're going to go ahead and listen to this. Crackly. A little, actually it's after I cleaned it if you can believe that. But cool anyway, so that's the Artie Shaw. 
And then going over here to the other record, I'm gonna go ahead and flip the switch. And we're gonna to listen to a little frog and toad here. The Garden. Read by the author. I love this stuff, it's so fun, so nostalgic. Frog was in his garden. Toad came walking by. What a fine garden you have, Frog, he said. Yes, said Frog, it is very nice, but it was hard now, work. Um, well, that's not like a frog. So in case you're wondering why the platter surface looks so weird, that's because this is a carbon fiber platter and it's sort of got that typical carbon fiber uh, material on there. So anyway, guys, just for fun, we found a couple of treasures today. Um, the CDs as well. Looking forward to listening to those. But for now, happy record hunting. Happy Vlogmas. I hope you're having a great holiday season with friends and family and hopefully not too much work. And we will see you tomorrow on Vlogmas.